right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Chico Dara! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your car. in this division, hard to find anything resembling a clown weakness on either side when you break down the There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Stewart. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. 
Just missed with the leg kick. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. And they separate. That strike blocked by Lee. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Right. the guard lands the right hand. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Oh! Outstanding output on both sides. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Defense there to block the shot. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice punch lands over the top. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, big head kick there. Big kick. Oh, big left hand there. They separate. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 20 seconds left. Punch over the top. Nice body. Went for the inside leg kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Deep breath in. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. All right, man. I want you to set those kicks. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Shane? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. on that leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he 
connects there, DC. Great job landing that post. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Whiffs on that offer. Continues to eat power shots here. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. So he lands another counter strike there, all set up by his brilliant job defensively, getting that head off of the center line and using his opponent's aggression against them. Nicely done. Big punch land. Ooh. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. So next with a right. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Double jab landed there by Lee. He loaded up on that right hand, too. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. And he caught the kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Very tricky when you throw that body kick. Just missing on the uppercut there. Nice straight punch. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. To well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish this fight. Lands with a right hand. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Great punch. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue. Oh, beautifully executed trip to get the takedown defensively. What are you trying to do to prevent that scene? You gotta be so aware defensively, because if you're not, the moment you're out of position, a guy like this will find those takedowns with those trips in all kinds of different scenarios. You can't take many of those, you better check. Lands flush with that right hand. Huge shot, finds the target there. Great shot, lands. Now he's gotta go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Back to the well with that right yeah. hand, it's no good. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely, you're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. 
He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picked up the action, put their foot on the gas, and really start to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does it. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. Nice punch lands over the top. And he continues to work the body here. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, huge head kick. Oh, yeah, right here. Nice kick. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Right hook to the body. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Head kick lands. His strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Ooh, what a punch. Just misses there with the left. Oh, big head kick lands. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Nice leg kick. Just a slip there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. in the night. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fun. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Final seconds here. 
There's no give on that leg kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really Ready? trying to damage his opponent. Ready? And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Ooh, big shot land. Real quick leg kick. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Big leg kick land. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Hit that body hard. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Just over three minutes to go. Watch these to the body. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. That's a good right hand. Just misses with the right. Nice head kick. Punches one. Good stick. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom. Well, late in the fight, and clearly it's been a dominant performance for him, and he's had to lean on that cardio. It certainly has not abandoned him tonight. Cardio in the video game comes down to who's butt mash and who's actually playing the game. The guy that's actually playing the game has better cardio. Look at that bar. Stop button pressing and learn how to play the game. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton, and to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Back to the jab now, no good. His leg is hurt here, you can see it. Seconds now to go on the rack. 
Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, that's a nice strike. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Lee going for the leg kick, he misses. Nice kick. Try to establish that jab. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Liver kick. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Straight right hand now, just misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Not there. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice punch there. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landing. That's a huge connection there, DC. He massive, is hurt. Massive good land. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Big body kick lands. Oh! Oh, oh Back to the feet! Real sneaky body kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Able to check that kick as well. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, man, head to land. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, Risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out. Oh! Whoa! Goes down again! Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt man. Back to the feet. Under two minutes remain in the fight. Beautiful strike. Back and forth we go! Body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like a landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost.
putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keeps making his flips, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Oh! Look at that. It's over. It's over. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel. And that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Rush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 54 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also 